How come we don't believe people when they show us who they truly are? This is The Kristen Ann Show, New York licensed social worker and board certified life coach. I just want to help you explore different ways to think. Thanks so much for tuning in. On this episode, we're going to talk about believing people when they really do show us who they are. I've always had a problem with this, and I know I'm not alone with not believing people when they tr- when they show me who they truly are. I would always ch- like chalk it up to like having a bad day or just, you know, maybe it's me. Maybe like I'm the reason that this is the way that they're acting. And for a long time, I really lost sight on the fact that I was not believing people when they were telling me who they were. And it was because I was more, I was more stuck on what they would say and not stuck on what they were doing. So I really think that this episode is really important because I think that we need to start, if you're not already, believing people for what what they show you and not what they're telling you. And this might be something that like, oh yeah, Kristen, thanks. <laughs> we know, like my mom and dad like told me this like when I was like five. And and I hope that they did. And if they didn't, like for me, like maybe my parents told me this when I was younger, but I don't remember it. And I didn't listen. It was more that I listened to people more than I like, like more than I was watching their actions. So, and again, I really think that this episode is really important because how come we don't believe people when they show us who they are? How come we make excuses for them? Why is it just like, okay, this is the way that they are, and I'm either going to take it or I'm going to leave it. And now, yes, we all have flaws. We all have imperfections. I'm extremely perfect. I think Nick can vouch for that. No, he probably, no. No, he would not say I was perfect. Nobody's perfect. But I'm going, I keep on repeating the same question of how come we don't believe somebody when they show us who they are instead of just listening like yes I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do this and I love you and I respect you but you're like yeah okay you're saying all of this but how come I don't see it how come I don't feel it like yours the words are coming out of your mouth but I, I, it's just not like resonating with me and it's probably because there's just they're just talking a lot of shit and you are believing that shit and I still do this. Like, when somebody shows me who they are, I'm like, eh, no, no. Because I would would prefer to believe something better. And that's my own issue. So, like, are you preferring to believe something better about that person? Like, do you prefer, like, I would prefer that that they, that they do X, Y, and Z, because I know that makes me feel really good. But at the end, at the end of the day, they're really just showing you the other stuff. And we're just not believing that. So yeah, we can drum up a lot of excuses. We could we could really make a very interesting um, scenario in our head. But if we're not taking somebody for what they are already in that present moment, we're going to make ourselves go crazy. And again, I know I'm not the only one that does this or thinks like this, which is why I think this episode is like really important. <laughs> because why don't we actually believe what people show us? Like, is it really more on them or is it more on us? Like, we have to really take accountability with this person has been X, Y, and Z for a while. And yeah, they'll, they'll talk a good game and all that fun stuff. But at the end of the, at the end of the day, they're really showing me something else. So why am I not believing them when they show, when they show me? Is it something that like an insecurity that I have of mine of, are they going to leave me and I want to feel, I'm going to feel abandoned. Like, what is it with you? I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to figure it out for myself of why don't I actually believe when somebody shows me who they are? Because that person has showed me so many times and I'm like, no. Mm -mm." And then I would get upset. But now whose fault is that? Is that mine or is that that other person's? I'm going to say it's probably your fault. In the regards of not letting that part go of, okay, well, they they kept on showing me who they are. So I do have a choice in the fact that I could say this is not working for me or I can walk away. And 
and not really believing of who they are. So I think that's just a kind of accountability on our end of saying, all right, so I know that this is what they're showing me. I'm either going to take it or I'm going to leave it. And this is for any relationship out there, friendship, intimate relationship, parent, family, anything. Why am I not believing what they're showing me? Why am I trying to make it better? Well, because the better the better version of it is so much better, right? Because it's better. <laughs> and it makes you happy. It makes you warm and fuzzy. But the reality of it sometimes is that that's not the way that it actually is. And why do we actually not go by what they're showing us and we're going by more what they're telling us. So this episode is just going to make you think a little bit more. Again, of course, all the episodes are like that, of really just igniting a little bit of of a switch in your mind, like, hmm, I'm going to think about this a little bit differently now because I have to take some responsibility here of, yeah, like I, I hate the fact that this person keeps on saying that they're going to do this and they're doing that. So why am I sticking around? So, light bulb. So you're listening, and this is a very short episode, and you're wondering, okay, Kristen, like, all right, I hear you. I'm with you. So what can I do? Okay, so what you can do is, first of all, you want to identify that person that, and I'm, I'm going to speak to more person than situations right now. You can identify that person that you really wish would do X but they're showing you why. So you need to make a choice of, is this something that I actually am okay with? Like I can, I can like groove with this or I have to take responsibility here and say like, yeah, they're actually showing me who they are and I'm not really a big fan of it. And that's when you make the decision to say, okay, not for me, like next. Thank you, next. (laughs) If you want me to start to sing, I... I can do that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's for my sister, not for me. Yeah, no. So believe people who they are. Do not try to change them because it's just not going to happen. Thank you so much for tuning in on this episode of Believing People for Who They Truly Are. Thanks, guys. Love you. Mean it. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the episode, please like, share, follow on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Also, come follow me on Instagram, underscore Kristen, underscore Anne, 88. And if you're ready to take the next step because you fucking deserve it, come take a look at my website on Instagram, 